Hello YouTube, I'm making my first screencast ever to show you other frontenders how to uh, how to uh, ma have Gulp make your life easier and run the task for you. It's uh, the newest JavaScript task runner on the block. I've been using Grunt for I don't know how long, but I've been using Gulp the last two weeks and it certainly looks promising. It's faster than Grunt uh, on a lot of tasks. Um, yeah, I'm gonna jump straight into it. I'm gonna assume you have npm installed and gulp installed globally already. If not, you can always check out the websites, npm's websites and gulpjs.com uh, and install it. Yes, I have a, a ghost theme set up here, which I'm working on. Um, in this theme, I have uh, my HPS handlebars files. Uh, and my assets uh, and among my assets my CSS and JavaScript I have a gulp file and package.json that's pretty much the package.json file uh, is what we're gonna go through first so let's open ter terminal and go to the root, fo root folder of the team uh, okay spelling here we go doing that yes and then we go to uh, content themes and open this in sublime text that's uh, this folder we're gonna open in sublime text uh, yes my favorite text editor i don't know about yours but this is mine uh, here we go so first i'm gonna check out this packages json file uh, let's make this smaller Yes, this file. So, package JSON. Here we go. This is the project file. Um, I named it North Themes Environment because it's the environment I use for my front end stuff while developing themes for Ghost. Um, pretty much, uh, this file is for telling npm what plugins to download when you run npm install. Uh, this plugins is what, what I need to do my tasks in Gulp. Uh, so basically, when I, I'm in this folder, no, I'm gonna go into the folder. Here we go. I'm in this folder in, in terminal. Um, and here I have my package.json file, this file. So if I run npm install here, here we go. Uh, npm gonna fetch all those plugins, uh, put them into node modules, just as Grunt does. Uh, oh, it's the same way, it's, it's all on npm. Um, yes, it's ready. Uh, let's clear that. Okay. So, we have all the modules installed in node, installed in node modules. We're gonna take a look at the Grunt, the uh, Gulp file. I'm sorry if I say grunt, sometimes I've been using it for so, so long and using gulp for two weeks, so uh, it's, it's uh, two names that's easy to um, say wrong. Gulp file, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go through this very quickly just to show um, what I do in this file. I'm gonna put, put up a, um, a gist on GitHub. Um, where I have this file so you can copy and go through it yourself and, and, and take the pieces you want and so on. Here I make variables of all my um, plugins uh, to call later on uh, in my functions down here. Um, so first I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna go through what this what the plugins does because I've commented this file so, so it should be easy to understand what they do. Um, here I made variables of all my um, file destinations, where, where, where all my SAS files are or rel relative to the assets folder, where to put all my CSS, the CSS destinations in the CSS folder, um, where to, to um, the JavaScript, which I want to lint, it's my own, the, the scripts are written myself, those three, I want to lint. The JavaScripts, which I want to uglify and minify by themselves, 
which should not be concatenated with other JavaScript and all the other JavaScript that will be con concatenated and lo loaded at the bottom of my page. Uh, and JS destination, where to put all the minified JavaScripts. Okay, the first is the SAS task, compilers, compiler SAS, um, auto fixer to, to, um, to uh, look through the compiled CSS and add, add uh, needed vendor prefixes. Um, then we minify and put it in the CSS destination and, and tell uh, OSX not notification center that uh, SCSS is processed. The JavaScript tasks, the JavaScript tasks um, the first one is just uh, linting my own JavaScript files. Um, the, the second one is uh, uh, uglifying the files I want to load solo um, and then renaming them with a min, min uh, suffix uh, and, and put them, them, putting them in the uh, JavaScript destination as well and sending a notification to an OSX notification center that JS is processed. And the last JavaScript tasks, uh, task for concatenating all, all my um, jQuery plugins and other JavaScript files uh, and, and renaming the, uh, the final file to scripts.min.js uh, and also send notifications to, to um, notification center. Then we got browser sync, which basically sets up um, a, a, a JS server, uh, which will um, uh, pretty much watch my CSS and JavaScript files uh, in the root of this folder and this folder. And uh, as soon as there's a change to any one of these files or to this, this file, it's going to inject those changes to this created server on all my devices so I can have this open on my on my um, iPhone, my iPad, my MacBook Pro at the same time have them side by side and as soon as I save a SAS file I'm gonna, <clears throat> gonna go through um, my SAS task compile the SAS and do all this stuff and then uh, browser sync is gonna feel a change in this CSS file it's gonna inject the CSS to all my browsers open on all my devices here is my standard gulp task. Uh, just if I just run gulp in here, it's going to run this task, um, which basically runs all my tasks described over here: SAS, JSLint, JSUglify, JS concatenate, and browser sync. Uh, just to make sure everything is the latest code is uh, in my minified, in my in my pro uh, in my. Um, yeah, uh, my CSS and my, my JavaScript files. And then it runs browser sync. And then it runs a couple of watch tasks watch tasks to, to watch my SCSS files here. This is watching all the uh, SCSS files. And as soon as there is a change to any file in here, my own SCSS or, or the vendor SCSS, as soon as something changes here, uh, it's going to run the SAS task, compile all the SAS, uh, and I'll put a CSS. And the same here, as soon as there is a change to, to, to any one of uh, any one of those files, JS concat source, <clears throat> it's going to run JS, con, uh, JS concat task, which is this one, to concat all those files <clears throat> and save us as minified JavaScript. Okay, <clears throat> so to try this out, let's just type, uh, first we're going to start, I'm going to open a new tab here, and go back a couple of steps to my root of the, there we go. Start. This is to start my ghost server. Uh, this is only if you if you run ghosts uh, runs on uh, Node.js, so this is a Node.js server running, and this is also why I have um, in browser sync I have a proxy specified because I already have a server running, so I have this Node.js server running on local hosts on this port. Uh, if you don't have a server running, uh, if if you have a WordPress installation, for example, you have a server running, um, and then you just uh, put this server here but if you just have like HTML 
CSS and JavaScript files, no server needed. Um, then you can, um, uh, with browser sync, set up an own uh, own server instead. Um, and if you Google um, Gulp browser sync, you're gonna find in the documentation how how to set up a browser sync server instead. But here we run this on my uh, on my uh, Ghost server. So if I run Gulp in this folder now, you see here, it runs the default task, does all this stuff. And then it starts the watch tasks, and it feels that uh, Chrome is connected. It starts Chrome, uh, and then it says browser connected Chrome. Um, if I should on my iPhone, uh, open Safari, and then open the same uh, IP uh, as uh, here in my Chrome in Safari. 192.168.166. Yeah, then you see down here browser connected mobile Safari. And if you, see, I don't know if you can see my iPhone right now, uh, but it's the same, um, the same um, stuff as here. And as I scroll on the desktop, it scrolls on the phone as well. I hope you can see it. Uh, I'm gonna open. Uh, just to be sure, maybe it's better to um, to run this iOS simulator. Let me see here if, if this works. Yeah, okay, here we go. See, as I scroll here, I scroll on the um, iOS device as well. I put this here. Uh, okay, so this is where the magic happens. If I open one of my SCSS files, here we go, settings for example, <clears throat> this file I use to, to um, uh, import my, my uh, framework, normalize my framework and my uh, grid, um, as well as some Google fonts. Um, and then I do the basic grid setups, uh, define colors for the team, some icons and so on, mixins and so on. Uh, but here, if I here, here I have some color themes defined, uh, and here is my main theme color. It's which is uh, this one right now. Say if I change this to say uh, green, as soon as I save, bam, it changes on all my devices, the iPhone as well. Uh, if I change to like blue. Say bam! It's like it's not even milliseconds; it's microseconds. Six fifty-one microseconds to to uh, inject the styles to all those browser browsers at the same time. Uh, say if I want to do something else, not colors. Uh, let's change this to. Uh, there we go. Oh. There we go. Say. Okay, it works as well. Um, say let's let's try to change the font here. I want uh, times for headers instead, and I want uh, Verdana for my other text. Save, bam, instantly change. I think this is really cool, um, and also this um, this uh, sync. With the browser, so you can scroll and all. You can fill in forms. Everything, uh, everything is synced. So it's really good to have. Um, I must say, I, I really love how how um, how fast it is. It's great for working on responsive designs like this one. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what what uh, I do want to show you. Um, Feel free to uh, to ask me questions um, on how to use how to use Gulp. I think it's gonna make my 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 life as a front end developer much easier, uh, which Grunt already have uh, have helped to do. But I think Gulp is gonna take it to the next step. It feels like you know it's so fast. It's you you can if I go into um, let's say base CSS. No, not base. Um, style SSS. 
here we go, all my imports. If we, let's say, comment out the header, and say, bam, it's gone. It's so fast, it's, uh, it's microseconds, you, you just, uh, I'm still amazed by it, I think it's so cool. Um, what else to do? You can, yeah, let's say we want to, um, we're, I think we're in this, this media query right now, so if I want to bump up the font size, uh, 1.2 EMs, yes. see, all the fonts change instantly. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's all for this screen sh screencast. I um, hope I um, I hope that you maybe I'm a little bit more interested in trying Gulp, even if you're a Grant user. Um, I uh, all I can say is try it. It's it's really it's great. Um, uh, and if you have any questions about uh, something, how how, uh, how to set up your your own Gulp file in a certain way. I mean, I, I, I'm no expert, but I've worked with it for like two weeks now to, to get it perfect. Um, so I hope I can help you with something. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, hope you learned something. Have a nice day. Goodbye.